I like maintaining at least a minimum six to seven hours of good sleep. My entire family, we love uh, Golden Dragon. I'm not too much of a Chinese guy. I remember when I was a child, I used to, you know, I, I used to see a cartoon where they used to go with the big uh, uh, corn, you know, they used to go cut, 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 cut. Hi guys, this is Neil and Mukesh. You're watching me on Bollywood Hangama. Generally, my breakfast, lunch, and dinner is very—it's uh, a staple diet. I wake up in the morning. I have about three boiled eggs with uh, a bowl of oats and uh, no sugar in the oats, no honey, no sugar. Just plain water, uh, boiled oats with uh, one cut fruit and uh, a date and about four almonds is what I have for my breakfast. For lunch, I have. Uh, uh, some red gone rice or maybe brown rice with some uh, steamed uh, uh, fish or maybe grilled chicken and if I'm traveling if I need some more carbs if I need energy then maybe some mashed potatoes and some sauteed vegetables on the side yeah and for dinner generally my dinner is the lightest meal I like eating very light on dinner so it might be like a nice steamed fish with some sauteed veggies on the side and yeah, that's just about it. That's a very nice question considering the fact that last four days I haven't slept at all. And uh, if I'm sounding tired right now, if I'm looking tired, I just have to tell you that my last, yesterday's routine was I woke up at about 7.30 in the morning. I like maintaining at least a minimum six to seven hours of good sleep. I also mean by, you know, completely deep sleep, but that is a rarity in my case since the last one and a half years, ever since uh, my daughter was born. And uh, so since then it's a little difficult because she wakes up in the night. But uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to now make sure that once all of this is done, then I'll try and catch up on some sleep and rest time. Very much needed. I generally like to break up when I'm training. Uh, right now I'm not currently training as heavy. So when I do start training and when I'm on my uh, cut down of fat percentage, then I like to break my meals up not into three meals, but then into six meals in a day. And then uh, of course my cardio routine starts at about uh, nine o'clock in the morning to about 11 o'clock. So I train for two hours in the morning and then I train for about another two hours in the evening which goes so that's why I like to spread my meals through the day. I, but again, my breakfast is staple. My lunch becomes heavier. My other meals then start becoming smaller. So between lunch and my morning breakfast, I have another meal at about 12 o'clock. So that takes me through the evening session of workout, which is very heavy. I love fruits. I think uh, fruits is the best form of uh, you know, sugars, uh, energy, carbohydrates. Yes, I love fruits. I have one fruit, but I don't like mixing too many fruits. So when there's enough fruit salads and stuff, I don't do that. I stick to one fruit a day. So, and only one fruit in the morning, that's it. No fruit in the evening, no fruits uh, at night for sure. Well, if you ask, I love fruits. So in general, I whether it's um, strawberries or whether it's uh, oranges, whether it's uh, uh, papaya, pineapple, mango, seasonal fruits, kiwi, I love, uh, I love fruits. Yeah. I love seafood, I think it's very, very healthy. I am a major fish addict. Whenever I start cutting down on fat again, uh, that's going to be my diet. So I generally follow a very routine fish diet. So I can have simple, plain, without any salt fish also. I can just have plain steamed fish, maybe some soya sauce or maybe some kind of sauce. That's just about it. Best seafood for me is fish. I also like 
I used to love prawns a lot and till I realized that I'm becoming an addict to prawns but I think for me fish uh, is my best uh, form of seafood. Uh, there's crab again, I love crab, you know, crab is a very uh, interesting meat but the only issue with crab is that uh, uh, it takes a lot of time to you know, kind of mince out from the shell. I generally like vegetables when they're nicely sauteed. I'm not a very raw vegetable kind of guy, so if it's not well done, then I instantly reject it. My palate, my system doesn't uh, accept it. Amongst them, the vegetables that I really like are broccoli, spring beans, uh, um, capsicum, bell peppers, a mix of, uh, you know, some maybe olives. I, I just, I mean, then it, olives are not really a vegetable, but yeah, you just mixed and tossed with a couple of sauces would make a nice, uh, I really like baby corn a lot. So baby corn is really nice. I, I remember when I was a child, I used to, you know, I, I used to see a cartoon where they used to go with the big uh, uh, corn, you know, they used to go cut, 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 cut. I used to try and do that when I was a child with the small baby corn. <laughs> yeah, some fruits, carrots. I love carrots a lot. No, I like my vegetables cooked, definitely. They, they, they kind of soften out the vegetable, they get the flavoring done. Of course, the nutrients aren't uh, sacrificed. So then some vegetables that I like raw, like maybe capsicum, for example. I like capsicum raw, then um, maybe carrot also, or raw carrot with a nice dip is very interesting. I think of ghee, I only think of that one film called Bhag Milka Bhag. I remember that scene where he just drinks it all down. It looked damn tasty, it looked really yummy. But then uh, I'm scared, you know. I'm, but I like it, but not too fond of the greasy uh, approach to food. Yeah. I'm a green tea person. I don't drink either tea or coffee. I drink only green tea. So, and I have a particular green tea that I only carry. I used to really like roti. Now when I travel of course uh, you know and we don't have a choice then I rather go in for a homemade roti roll and sometimes we need to carry food with us so it's the best form to you know carry food just make a nice chapati roti and put some nice vegetables make a nice homemade frankie kind of thing and go otherwise I avoid roti. Oh my cheat days there's only gonna be cheese platters with some Doritos Maybe a bowl of Nutella and chocolates, some french fries, a, a McDonald's burger. Uh, that's only for lunch. Then of course, uh, when I'm going to indulge my cheat day, then it's going to be like a nice pizza from Trattoria. Oof, my mouth's watering. <laughs> I love desserts. Desserts, uh, it's something uh, that I think I've been passionate about since I was a child. There is a brand called Toshins, which I really like. He's a very dear friend of mine. And I think uh, he's one of the finest when it comes to, uh, you know, desserts. His presentation plus the taste is perfect. So I like a good looking dessert. I mean, you want to really want to eat a nice, good looking dessert. And then it should taste also really well. I think Toshins does that. Well, uh, I like Italian a lot, so uh, I mean, you might catch me a lot with a, maybe a risotto, maybe a, a nice pasta with um, a, a good salad and, and maybe some grilled chicken. Uh, occasionally, I like indulging in some Italian food, you know. So Italian and, and Mexican both are, are something I really enjoy. So whenever I get the chance, a pizza it is with some risotto and a nice cheese bread. I've been surviving on it for the last couple of days, I will not lie, because our trail in, in Bombay City is so hectic. We've been just hopping around, so it's best to get yourself not one of the really greasy burgers, but a healthy roll, you know. So yeah, I mean, I will not lie, but like I said, I am very conscious of my diet. 
and uh, once in a while is fine otherwise it kind of makes me very guilty and i feel terrible about myself especially on the days that i'm not being able to work out and sleep properly then i feel like oh my god what am i doing to my system it's and i can feel it inside you know that i'm just corrupting my system right now i feel extremely corrupted yeah. so my wife is an expert with online uh, food ordering and so is my younger brother naman they are constantly on some app or the other on their phone on the laptops on the tablets and i can just see they they love scrolling through so what happened was a while back i found it very funny as to why do they like shopping online for food so much to be very honest i realized that it's not about the food that they are ordering they don't really order that much but they like to see the variety that's there on on that uh, on their fingertip and when i started doing that i got so addicted to just scrolling through all those beautiful looking images of oh wow what if i put this in my cart so yeah uh, once in a while uh, maybe i'll i'll indulge in maybe some ice cream shopping on online for uh, nurbi for uh, my wife and me nurbi is allowed just a little tiny dot of it but you know we it, we put the gun on her shoulder and fire it Trattoria, hands down. I mean, for me, my go-to restaurant would be uh, uh, Taj President Trattoria. It's one of my most happy places. Uh, Apart that, Golden Dragon at Taj for Chinese, because my younger brother and I, my entire family, we love uh, Golden Dragon. I'm not too much of a Chinese guy, but my family loves GD and the food at Golden Dragon at Taj is spectacular. Again, mouth watering. spicy darsa now the oof guys just had the spicy darsa we have four portions of it yeah when i'm shooting i'm very conscious of my diet because then i want to make sure that a the system is clean i'm energetic enough sometimes what happens is uh, happy food makes you feel very lethargic during shoot i like being very light and very clean so i'm very conscious and plus i have my team who takes a lot of care of me while uh, you know while i'm with them so in that uh, sense of course uh, during shoot my my routine becomes very clean so it be restricted to what i told you my earlier diet of uh, steam fish boiled vegetables you know some uh, some sauteed veggies maybe some nice mashed potato if at all if the energies are required yeah Hi guys this is Neil Nitin Mukesh you're watching me on Bollywood Hangama